Hey everybody and welcome to December. It's my favorite time of the month when we do your love life in December. So what I want you guys to do is focus for a second and pick a deck that speaks to you. And this reading is going to let you know what your love life is going to be like with the month of December and whether you're going to be getting a kiss underneath the mistletoe or getting a big lump of coal in your heart. So <laughs> hopefully it's going to go well for everybody. And uh, just pick the deck that is speaking to you and that you feel the best about. And we're going to go. This is deck number one. This is deck number two. And this is deck number three. I will have timestamps for everything. So if you pick two or three, you can catch up with that later. So let us look at deck number one. Let's see what this is going to be like for you. Ooh. Okay, the first thing that I'm feeling, I just want to make sure you guys can see these. I feel like I say that every video. The first thing that I'm getting with you guys with this, um, with this reading is that a relationship is blossoming, you guys. I see the beginning of something. I see growing. I see um, putting effort into something. I feel like you are expecting to meet somebody. If you, you may have already met them. That's a possibility. But it's the budding. It's the beginning. It's the young part of a relationship. And so just know that this is happening. Um, I feel like with all the good stuff that's going on, I feel like there's going to be some callback to the past, possibly fear, but more so what I feel is that somebody else is going to be coming into the mix as well. So you're dating this person, you're getting to know them, things are going really well, it's really nice, and then bam, X comes to pay a visit, you're getting slided into the DMs. What I want to say to you guys about this is this is a reminder of what you don't need in your life, and it's a reminder of what you want to change. So even though this person is starting to reconnect with you and try to come back on the scene is a lesson and it's not an opportunity. So try to take it like that. This is a really important time for you guys to focus on what you want and focus in the proper way. So you have this great relationship. You want to make sure that you get to know the person. You enjoy the process. Don't put them on a pedestal. Just enjoy them. Learn their good qualities, their bad qualities, but enjoy it. It's a good relationship. It's something very positive. If you handle it the right way, everything is going to go really smooth. Starting around the 6th of December, we're going to be exiting the Mercury retrograde. So this is a great time to start deepening connections. This is a great time to be a little bit more brave about speaking your feelings. And, you know, this is a good time to get to get going with that stuff. So that is deck number one. I'm excited for you. You have a new relationship on the way. This is deck number two. Let's see what's going on, deck number two. <laughs> All right, deck number two. You are living the single life, let me tell you. Um, yeah, the feeling that I get off this is that you're somebody who is right now just focusing on other things. I feel like, you know, you may have somebody that kind of comes in and out, like a friend with benefits or somebody that is just kind of there but not an official relationship. I, I get the sense that there's somebody there, but it's it's like an old comfortable shoe. <laughs> it's not the excitement of new romance and getting dressed up and going out on dates. It's more like, eh, you want to go watch TV or you want to do Netflix and chill. It's that kind of thing. What I do see, though, is that you're really enjoying this month. You're getting grounded. You're thinking about what you want. You're making your dreams come true. You're enjoying spending time with yourself. You're enjoying giving yourself treats throughout the month, and this is a good time to treat yourself. December is a perfect excuse to go that extra mile, get yourself something new, um, give yourself a little more relaxation time. This is the perfect month for that. Everything this month is going to go very quickly, very go, go, go. You're going to always worry about the Christmas shopping and everything, but you're going to be wiser and you're going to take time out for yourself so that you're not as stressed out as everybody else. So I don't see a lot of romance for you this month, um, but I do feel like you're going to still have a great month and doesn't mean that you're not going to have romance soon. This is just kind of like you're rebuilding and taking care of yourself. So we're going to start with deck number three. Ooh, sexy time, babies. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. What I see here is the 
I feel like, um, hmm, I see a lot of sex. I'm just being honest with you guys. I see a lot of sex. I see a lot of openness. I kind of feel like this is a relationship that is somebody that's broken up and you guys are going to get back together. I'm just, I'm saying that the both of you are going to be in the right time, in the right place to reconnect with each other. I feel like this is a relationship where you guys love each other a lot. This isn't a toxic, abusive relationship. This isn't a relationship where you're being abused and the person mistreats you and, and is physically, mentally, or emotionally abusive. It's not that situation. This is more a situation where you guys have a great relationship but other stuff gets in the way whether it's family obligations work obligations long distance stuff like that stuff that is you know understandable but not anything where one person is abusing the other person i feel like magic is gonna happen i almost look at this and i feel like there's like a romantic comedy in the making with this spread it's like the right circumstances are gonna put you guys in a way that you're gonna be able to spend time together you're both gonna be really up for it it's gonna strengthen your bond and your connection to each other and there's just gonna be an overwhelming like just surge of emotion people might see this tsunami card and think that that's a bad thing and it can be in certain readings but i see this as just like an overflowing of emotion a surge so I feel like this is that couple that's going to get back together that has been apart for you know reasons that were beyond their control and things are going to start to come together and you're almost going to feel like it's fate or destiny. Like I don't feel like you're going to do it on purpose. I don't feel like they're going to do it on purpose. It's just going to be like the right circumstances. So I definitely see in these cards a reconciliation and a good one, a good one. Like it's the right time. Alright you guys, other than that is pretty much it. Do you like my cozy blanket? I love this. So soft. That is pretty much it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you do, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned because your money forecast for December is coming up very soon.